Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome to I welcome you in our online sessions for the subject Menj Mu Sitin Engineering Graphics or Mechanical Engineering Drawing. And here with you, Instructor Engineer Ibrahim Abu Hassanin. Uh, our first session will continue our face-to-face -face lectures in orthographic projection in order to have some experience and then we'll go to another subject. Orthographic projection and three views, usually what we need from all of these, you have it in your exercise book under orthographic projection drawing tasks. So let us read for the following exercise using CAD mechanical scale one to one, A U O B make template to do the following. We have first angle projection, third angle projection. I think third angle projection will uh, uh, cancel this uh, point here. It will be just, I refer to it in the lectures. So it will be self reading from you. You can go and see uh, what's the third angle how to do, draw a third angle. I already mentioned that in my lecture, last lecture, but we didn't con concentrate on this. So let's work on first angle projection. At the model space, uh, draw front side top from the given isometric show hidden and center lines where required. We have to add necessary dimensions and label the views. Then we'll switch, switch to paper space or layout zoom and pan scale rename as close work one to one now we'll name it as uh, session with orthographic so one dot one okay and if we have more than one uh, model we have to copy the drawing sheet and rename it and save your work in addition to this one, I need you to, to do, I'll do it in this uh, session and you will do it all the time. How to make a PDFs out of our layouts. It's necessary in the midterm it will be. So this is our task in orthographic projection. And in, in other subjects, the tasks are the same. I draw for every every subject its tasks you have it in your exercise book here for the isometric what we need for the isometric etc etc let's go to our exercise this is a new uh, exercise book i add here some uh, freehand sketching the points that we did at the class the uh, so it w the number number of uh, pages will be you have some changes doesn't matter stick with yours but you can download the other one you have it on the stream okay we'll work on figure one and figure two i ask you before we leave uh, to draw freehand sketching for these uh, objects to have a front view side view top view to exercise your hand drawing freehand sketching because we may have a quiz on freehand sketching when we come back so from now every exercise we'll do it try to do it as a freehand sketching on a piece of paper white paper a4 you can work on a4 it's okay paper draw the front side top view add some dimensions add hidden lines i already uh, put some notes at teams the course files about how to create a freehand sketching how to sketch a line, how to sketch a circle, how to sketch uh, the isometric, and how to sketch uh, orthographic projection. You can go and see what's there. Let us start with our exercise. As usual, before I do any drawing, I have to study the drawing. The meaning of studying drawing, so what it consists of. So we have here a base 
this base is uh, a rectangle 130 by 80 we have another cube here if you can see from here to here and down this is a cube it's 80 by 80 by 70 height we have semi cylinders from both sides on R20 and we have a semi hole or semi cylinder like a hole here okay on R30 we have two grooves from both sides I write you both sides from here and there and we have fillet that you don't have it in your exercise book so put it in your exercise book on R10 where to start and how to start it doesn't matter from what view do you start it's okay but experience shows that if you start from the view that has uh, circles semi semi cylinders etc etc it will be more easy to project these objects to other views so i'll start from the top view and start sketching drawing this rectangle i'll go to my autocad here in order to have a center we go to construction line and have a cross anywhere escape we'll go to rectangles and we'll go we have center rectangle center center rectangle what here center full base and we have the information of uh, height so we'll click here this is our center okay and he asking here for full base our full base is 130 enter and our full height is 80 so this is our rectangle okay let us go back to exercise our rectangle is filleted with r10 so i can go and fillet it finish the fillet first so i go to fillet here the radius is 10 i already have it. i 10 enter i already mentioned in the class that if we have a polyline we can do one fillet for the four edges by clicking on what on polyline yes and we we'll select our polyline and we have our fillet in one click so this is the base the other thing we'll the second thing we'll do this cube of course the cube from the top it will be 80 by 80. so i'll go here again to my autocad go to rectangles sit down to squares and click i have a center and full base this is my center okay this is my center oh my god again so this is my center center full base okay here and eight zero so this is my cube and from the top it will be square next we'll draw these semi cylinders on r20 from both sides and the center distance is 100 so we'll come here to have the intersection where my centers should be i have to offset this is this line by 50 to the right and 50 to the left so i'll add five zero enter click on this line to the right 50 click on this line to the left 50. here's my both centers now i'll go for circle this is my center the radius is 20. as i mentioned in the class again to repeat the last co command i can click enter so i click enter i have my circle can you see it asks me for a center this is my center and now it asks me for radius 
I it already have stored the last three just it's 20 I just click enter okay now what we have we have two small lines here that connecting this semicircles with that square with my square this is my square yeah or uh, cube okay let's do it so I'll have a line from here to here to make it quick I'll copy this line from here to here okay and I'll mirror these two lines one two enter this is my mirror plane to here and enter let us clear some lines so we have to make a trim okay this is my first second edge I can see what's the others here's something wrong we have it so we have to take it here put it in the okay now trim again between these two oh my god I have Arabic so trim again between these two one two enter I'll take this out again trim here I'll take this out so this is my W okay again trim between I'll, I'll copy this to first so I can trim here trim on this one and this one enter I'll take this out and I'll take this out now I can copy these one two or mirror them as I as you wish from the end to end uh, so this is my okay what else do we have we have to trim these two so we go, go to trim again between these two one two three four enter I'll take out part of this rectangle clear okay let us do some fillets for here fillet what is the fillet here is the fillet of course how much the fillet all fillets are 10 so it's 10 as all of these fillets I'll go back to here I have 10 already okay can we use polyline I don't know let us try polyline if I click here it will take from the outside now it can't take from the inside because this is the polyline we trim it already okay so will they will do a fillet without a polyline we then fill it again between these two one two enter enter one two enter enter one two enter enter and one two my semi cylinders and square is ready now we'll add a semi hole this is my semi hole of course I can't add a standard semi hole we don't have it we'll draw it manually so the semi hole it will be as a rectangle yeah 80 by 60 you have r30 here r30 here okay so I'll come back here and offset by 30 3 0 enter to the right to the left and I'll draw a line from here down there's one edge of the semicylinder and from here down this is the other edge of my semicylinder it's a semicylinder so I'll draw a center line I'll go center lines here center line from this edge to this edge and I have my center line I will switch off the construction lines so this is my top view 
what we need now we dig some holes hole by 520 through where's our holes in the content before we dig any or we use any standard what we will do before that we have to yes of course you remember that we have to switch our mechanical structure on okay go to through holes what is our hole it's a user through we need the top view okay how to find the center just hover around the edge okay, can you see if I hover around the edge you have the center here what shall we do now we click enter and we'll give it to zero this is our hole you can create a hole again or you can mirror it it's more easy we have a mirror for this hole this is my mirror first mirror line this is my second mirror line and hit enter this way we have our top view ready of course the scene faces the observer